Good evening. I'm Father Robert Jalbert, director of our Mary No Fathers and Brothers Church Engagement Division within our U.S. Mission Education Apostolate. Father Kevin sends his regrets that he's unable to be with us this evening. At the end of 2018, Pope Francis proclaimed that October 2019 would be an extraordinary mission month, and he invited all Catholics to renew and embrace within themselves the Universal Church's missionary commitment each day in their words and deeds. Briefly stated, the theme of this celebration is baptized and sent the Church of Christ on mission in the world. In this celebration, we're reminded of the three essential cornerstones upholding our faith and church. First, that God is extravagant love on a mission of love throughout the world. Second, that God's design is that Jesus' suffering, death, and resurrection save us all. And third, that God wants and needs us to witness this message to others. This presupposes that we believe and own this message, the good news, as our own through personal transformation, and that as a result, we feel compelled and even obliged to share this gift with others through mission. In his message for World Mission Day 2019 on October 20th, and earlier in his apostolic exhortation, The Joy of the Gospel, Pope Francis identifies himself and us clearly and boldly following from our baptism. Quote, I am a mission always, you are a mission always, every baptized man and woman is a mission, end quote. Jesus in his earthly ministry spent three years inviting and forming his followers to carry on his and God's work in our world after his return to God by living out a threefold invitation. Come and see, be transformed, go and tell. Throughout this brief earthly journey, Jesus was repeatedly reminded that he himself, while on this earth, was also engaging in his own personal transformation process. St. Matthew, in chapter 15 of his Gospel, records a Canaanite woman confronting Jesus and inviting him to stretch his understanding of the breath of God's love as he replied, I have been sent only to the lost sheep of the people of Israel followed by her response, even the dogs eat the leftovers that fall from their master's table, taken from Matthew's Gospel 15, verses 24 and 27. Later on in Jesus' final words to his followers after his resurrection and before leaving them, Matthew records him as saying, go then to all peoples everywhere and make them my disciples. Chapter 28, verse 19. If then Jesus himself matured in his understanding of God's love, what can we say of ourselves here today? Trusting that God not only wants but needs us to help realize God's design in our world, let us bring the following prayers and concerns from some of our guild members to you who pray with us today and together to our Creator God. Trusting that God not only wants but needs us to help realize God's design in our world, let us bring the following prayers and concerns from some of our guild members to you who pray with us today and together to our Creator God. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace and conversion for your extended family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for all your blessings and that your family return back to the Catholic Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your health, for your family's care, and for peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will have peace of mind and courage to live your life as a single person, and that your family members enjoy good health, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For the deceased members of your family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will guide and help you where you need it the most, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good health and good friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For reconciliation for your children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our Mary Knoll Prayer Guild and for all of their intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, for myself as our Missioner of the Month and reflecting the meaning of this extraordinary month of mission, and for all of our Mary Knoll Missioners around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As Missioner of the Month, I was born in Southbridge, Massachusetts on May 18, 1946, and attended Notre Dame Grammar and High Schools, graduating in 1964. I served for four years in the U.S. Air Force as a Russian linguist in Italy and Turkey before earning a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1973 in English Literature from Holy Apostles Seminary College in Cromwell, Connecticut. I was ordained in May of 1979 and at the request of the Society studied at Georgetown University where I received a Master of Science degree in Sociolinguistics in August of 1981. Following three years as assistant pastor at Umoja Catholic Church in Nairobi, Kenya, I served at Mary Knoll Center between 1985 and 1993 as assistant director for the Center for Mission Studies, director of the Society's Overseas Training Program, and director of the Formation Education Department. From May of 1993 to August of 1999, I served in Musoma, Tanzania as director of our Merino Language School, and from January 2000 to October 2003, I served at the Nairobi Center House in Kenya as director, while also working with the Guadalupe missionaries at Christ the King Parish in the Kibera informal settlement in Nairobi. From October 2003 to September 2009, I served in the Mission Education and Promotion Department at the Society Center as director of the New England Northeast Region Promotion House. And from 2009 to 2015, served as the director of the Mission Education and Promotion Department. In 2015, I was appointed as the United States Mission Education Apostolates director of the Church Engagement Division, where I currently serve today. Let's now together recite the prayer for this month, celebrating World Mission Sunday. Lord, you gave us the great commission to go out to all the world and teach all peoples your truths and make all nations your disciples. Help us to leave our comfort zones to seek and discover new brothers and sisters from every land and culture. Bless and protect all missioners who follow your call to the ends of the earth. 
Keep them safe from all harm and be their strength and support through every hardship and adversity. God, who created the human race in your image and likeness, may we all help to rebuild the human family where everyone is welcomed, honored, appreciated, and loved. Amen. Our next webcast will be on Friday, November 8th, 2019 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If we truly believe that mission defines who we are and how we live our lives, let's ask God during this extraordinary month of mission for the gift of faithfully and generously sharing God's extravagant love with others. At this time, my friends, I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank you very much for these past many years that we've shared this Prayer Guild webcast each month together. I will be moving on to our mission center in Los Altos, California shortly to enter into a new form of ministry as superior of our local community there. I want to take this opportunity also to thank you very much for praying with us each week and invite you to welcome those who will be replacing me beginning in next month's webcast. Thank you.